It's called MEOC, which stands for Mobile Emergency Operations Center. The 40-foot-long truck is custom-designed for the city and loaded with the latest in technology, which allows every city employee to work from it if needed, says Torrance Police Lieutenant Mark Athan. He says that ensures city employees will be able to do their jobs in a disaster. This vehicle here will keep this city up and running related to public safety, related to public works, um, related to everything that the city has to offer can be facilitated out of this vehicle. The police department oversees the mobile command center, which has four dispatch stations in the front, where there's also a map showing locations of police vehicles. In the back is a command or multi-purpose room. And in between, there are redundant communication systems to make sure the phones always have a connection. It took a lot of networking and configuring to get this truck to be able to act like you're sitting at your desk at a city desk. It also has a red phone to call for help outside the city if needed. I can pick that phone up and dial their four-digit code and go, hey, Santa Monica, Torrance is what we need. So it's basically it's public safety to public safety, whether it's police or fire. Cameras on each side and one on a mast which rises 50 feet high. And that bird's eye view is good day or night. At night, it does have the infrared on it where it makes it look like daytime uh, at night. And so that camera gives us the availability to, you know, see around us up to close to about a mile out. And he says the $825,000 vehicle shows city leaders take emergency preparedness seriously. This was a big step in ensuring that the city of Torrance is ready to respond to and recover from any type of incident. The city also purchased a mobile DUI processing trailer and a mobile restroom trailer to use with the vehicle. For This Week in Torrance, I'm Edward Mertz.